Hi there. What happened? Ch Chief Executive! I regret to inform you that two peacekeepers on guard duty at the gate were knocked out by someone. Is it an intruder? Yes, that appears to be the case. So we have a guest. Who would have thought there'd be an intruder right now? An intruder? The timing is too perfect. It's like they were waiting for you, Master. Huh? Hey, what's going on here? Am I seeing things? The tacky piece of trash that loves looking down on citizens from on high is actually strutting around on the ground. And with the fucking detective who moonlights as a terrorist to boot. That's even more impossible than a chance meeting between an umbrella and a sewing machine on an operating table! This is bad. Why is he, of all people, here? This is the worst timing. Master, you are the world champion of getting into trouble. Hi, Yomi. You came at the right time. We have an emergency. An intruder has gotten past the gate. You don't need to tell me what I already know, you masked freak. It sounds like you already know about the intruder. So, you received an alert and decided to pay a visit? Seeing you personally take care of things is a rare sight. Of course I'm here. This is an important base for us. Well, do you have any ideas regarding this intruder? I'm not required by duty or cosmic law to tell you a damn thing. Go back to the clouds and read poetry in the bath. I'll help. What? As CEO. I offer my full support to the Peacekeeper's investigation. What, like some sort of truce? Is now the time to fight among ourselves? Fine. I'll accept your peace offer. You think I'd really say that? I don't need your help! You don't seem to understand the situation you're in. You really are a special kind of stupid. I have power, numbers, and charisma that far surpass yours in every way. You are in no position to order around the great Yomi. I'll admit, I have no power, numbers, or charisma. But what about here? <sighs> you talk a lot of trash, empty-headed balloon boy. How about I catch this intruder before you do? Huh? You catch the intruder? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with Fink the Slaughter Artist. Fink the Slaughter Artist? The famous hitman? Who's this new character now? He's a hitman. What? Were you acting all tough for no reason? You sure are a brainless executive. We've been looking into this for days already. It's a death threat. Dr. Weska is... Isn't that the head of the lab he mentioned? So a hitman's out to get him? This thing was sent to the Peacekeepers and the lab itself a few days ago. The Slaughter Artist signed the envelope in big letters. He craves attention like a schoolgirl with a new haircut. It doesn't matter who he is. The moment he steps into this lab, he'll be caught in my trap. Sorry, but we'll be the ones to handle this hitman. Keep talking, you clown. Your words are just as empty as your head. We, the Peacekeepers, are gonna catch the Hitman. We're the Keepers of Order and we'll show him who's boss. You best be careful not to stand in my way. 
It'd ruin my shoes to stomp on a pile of shit. Are you sure you can catch the hitman first? Huh? It's not my job to catch him. It's yours, detective. I knew it. <laughs> there, there. Don't look at me like that. As a result, you weren't taken by the peacekeepers, and we also gained information about the intruder. We've killed two birds with one stone. Maybe, but... On top of that, you can peruse the lab freely now. So it's more like a three base hit sending all the runners home. Was that his goal during the short exchange with Yomi? If so, he's not just any regular person. I understand why you think he's creepy. It's probably best to stay on his good side. Although, I don't think befriending him is smart either. In other words, as I keep on saying, you should just run away! It's too late for that. Now, let's go inside the lab like we originally planned. As planned, huh? So this is the secret lab. Let's keep up with Makoto. something way more suspicious, like corpses stored in a vat of chemicals and stuff. See? It's not some suspicious lab. There aren't any immortal monsters in sight. I can't tell yet. Yuma, I'm sure you want to look around the lab, but let's prioritize this issue with Dr. Weska. Right. If he's been targeted by the hitman, it'd be better to find him first and take him into our custody. Well then, let's hurry. Dr. Weska should be in the critical lab up ahead. Uh, was that a robot? I think I've seen it somewhere else. Isn't that the one they advertise a lot on posters around town and those big digital billboards? Oh, it's a toy robot for children. It's being developed here. You make them here? Toy robots, I mean. It may be a toy, but it's quite advanced. State-of-the-art technology shouldn't be just for adults. In fact, I even have one. It's quite nice. The camera affixed to its head can connect to a device's display, and it can also be remote controlled. It even features an interactive mic and can carry a load of up to 100 kilograms. It's advertised to withstand play with your rowdiest kids and as being tough enough for an elephant to stand on. Um, shall we keep going? Oh, right. Here it is. Let's go inside. Yes. This is the front chamber of the critical lab. You can consider it an entrance. Dr. Weska's critical lab is sealed with especially tough security. Anyone who tries to enter carelessly would be in grave danger, including myself. So, in order to meet the doctor, we must first contact him on the inner. Who dares disturb the thoughts within my sacred brain cells? Dr. Weska, it's me, the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation. Who the hell are you? I refuse to speak with any disrespectful hoodlums. Either take off your mask or present someone whose mouth I can view. You heard him. Yuma, can you take my place? Huh? Me? 
Why doesn't he just take off his mask? This doctor guy seems like the stubborn type. I doubt I'll be good at dealing with him. The only humans you're good at dealing with are young girls. Right, Master? Um, my name is Yuma Cocohead. I've come here today after being advised by Mr. Makoto. Speak what you must in under ten words. Oh, sure. Um, you're being targeted by a hitman. You need to get somewhere safe. You've exceeded your word limit. Game over. Don't come back. Uh, hold on! See how difficult he is? He's a great researcher, but I can't say the same for his personality. People say he's been in this lab for months now without seeing anyone. For months? It's like the Heavenly Rock Cave legend. However, there's only one way to get him out. And it's not some passionate dance. It's this. Huh? You're a persistent bugger. What's the meaning of this? Do you wish to become a test subject for a new weapon? Uh, um, as I mentioned, a hitman is... I know that already. I received a threatening note a few days ago. Huh? So you received one too? I received a report from my subordinate. I didn't see anything of the sort myself. Why didn't you run away then? You'd be better protected somewhere safe. What a foolish question. What place is possibly safer than here? The security system was instilled with my genius. Whether it's a hitman or the CEO, anyone who dares enter without my permission will be turned into a test subject. And now that you've been enlightened, quit wasting my precious time! It appears he won't budge. Such a shame. I wanted to ask him a few things too. S sorry It's not your fault. He didn't even talk to me. He appears to despise me. Maybe it's because I keep trying to investigate his research. So having you introduce me wouldn't have made a difference in the first place. Probably not, but I thought you'd like the chance to speak with the doctor. He is the head of Amaterasu Corp's research facilities. If there was any sort of questionable research, he would know. Questionable research? He's referring to the homunculi. Um, isn't there some way we can reach the doctor? I doubt he'd answer the intercom again, and it's impossible to get past his security. You can attempt to force your way in, but you'd be risking your life. The security is that tough? You could say it's impregnable. You could even call it murderous. Intruders will be immediately killed. Killed? It's not so much a security system as a boom kill device. It's a security system so perfect that even the devil would avoid it. Even though this is the heart of Amaterasu Corporation, I still think it's a bit excessive. Oh, if you want, I could explain what the security is like around here. Yes, please. Tell me about the security system. First off, we're in what's known as the front chamber. It's like an entrance to the critical lab. You see that automatic door there? It's not actually locked. You can come and go freely through it. Once you get past that door, you will need to proceed through three chambers before arriving at the doctor's lab. The three chambers are, in order, the airlock, the toxic gas chamber, and the panel chamber. Toxic gas chamber? Sounds dangerous already. It is. Anyway, let's go in order. After the front chamber is the airlock. The airlock isn't particularly dangerous. As the name suggests, it's a room that seals out air. It features a large decontamination device set up on a wall. This prevents gas from the toxic gas chamber from leaking out. If an intruder broke in or there was an accident originating from the toxic gas chamber, 
Everything beyond it would remain safe thanks to the airlock. So it's a room to stop the toxic gas. Once you get past the airlock, you arrive at the toxic gas chamber in question. It was supposed to use sleeping gas in the original design, but Dr. Wesco decided to upgrade it. If anyone enters while the security system is active, the whole room immediately fills with fatal toxic gas. The gas is comprised of bacterial aerosols, so regular gas masks are ineffective against it. Even if you hold your breath, it penetrates the skin. There are no effective treatments for it in existence. Isn't it dangerous to weaponize such a deadly gas? Oh, there's no need to worry about that. This gas is one of the doctor's failures. It's only effective in an airtight room. It is easily dispersed outdoors. I see. By the way, it takes time for the toxins to spread throughout your body, so it will not be a quick death. However, you will absolutely die within 30 minutes. No one can escape that fate. The time lag is another reason why it's considered a failure. But, as a security system, it's unmatched in offensive and defensive capabilities. Anyone who wanted to force their way through would need a spacesuit. He claims the gas will absolutely kill anyone. That's terrifying. That's not cute like me at all. And next, we have the third room, the panel chamber. It consists of nine panels in a 3 by 3 layout. It functions as a key to open the door. The nine panels are set in a special sequence by the doctor. Stepping on them in the correct order unlocks the door. Only the doctor knows the order. Its key is sealed within his memories. Supposedly, even computers cannot analyze it. Also, stepping on the wrong panel will cause an intruder to be shocked at high voltages. What? High voltages? An intruder would be burnt to a crisp before realizing they'd messed up. <laughs> it's totally out to boom kill you! It was originally designed to emit a light shock, but the doctor modified it to be deadly. Why go to such lengths? According to the doctor, this string of security protocols is not meant to kill intruders. It's more like a deterrent. This display of excessive force would cause anyone to give up on breaking in. But there is a strong aura of malice here. I guess you could say that's another deterrent. It's true. If anyone knew about the obstacles, they would never even try to enter here. And also note there's a second decontamination device in the panel chamber that's identical to the one in the airlock. Of course, this is to prevent the toxic gas from leaking into the lab itself. Once the nine panels are cleared, all that is left is to flip the switch. Doing so opens the final door, beyond which is the doctor's lab. Speaking of, how does the doctor get in and out of the lab? Within the lab is a button that fully disarms all security measures. The doctor just presses it whenever he leaves. But he's remained in the lab for months. He seems focused solely on his research and hasn't set a foot outside. There's a toilet and shower, as well as plenty of food and water. Security is perfect, and since he's never interrupted, it must feel like heaven to him. Even so, it doesn't seem healthy to be holed up in there for months. Did something trigger that? It's normal for a researcher to be immersed in his own research but it is worrisome. We won't know the details until we speak to him directly, but from what I've heard, he was part of a big project that was canceled in the past. He's shut himself in here ever since. A big project? Could it be the homunculus research? Anyway, as I've just explained, getting through the security here is impossible. If you wish to meet the doctor, you must get him to press the disarming button. In the end, we must communicate with him, which you appear to be better at than I am. That's not true, but I guess I have to do it. Huh. 
I knew you'd be here. Hi, Yomi. Dr. Weska is safe. I've confirmed it just now. The security system is active, so I doubt the hitman can even get close to him. So? You talked smack about finding that hitman before we do. How's it going? As of right now, no luck. You can drop the phony act, masked freak. Act? My underlings searched all around the lab, but no intruder has been found. Which means there was no hitman from the get-go. Isn't that right, you executive of massive fraud? Huh? I know you're the one who made up that death threat, Makoto Kagutsuchi. What are you plotting? Why are you even here? You seem to have a misunderstanding. There's no doubt someone's been here before us. Besides, what would I gain from such a plot? I just want to have a little chat with Dr. Weska. What business do you have with Dr. Weska? Don't pretend you're just here to talk about the weather! I want to see if he needs my help with anything. I have a duty to watch over Amaterasu and Kanai Ward as a whole. What? What have you ever done for Kanai Ward? All you do is look down on it from on high. The peaceful order you see when you gaze upon it is thanks to my righteous justice. I'm the one guiding these lazy fools. I brought civilization to this place. I don't need you messing with the proper order of my city. Hey, tell Mr. CEO that he doesn't belong here. Politely escort him out. Make sure he can still talk, though. There are plenty of things I need to ask him. What a coincidence. I was hoping to have a nice chat with you two. W wait! It's all right, don't worry. We're just going to talk for a bit. I'll be right back. Uh, um, I... What even are you? Huh? You're not a citizen of Kanai Ward, nor are you a detective. What point is there in your existence? <laughs> not that I care about small fries like you anyway. Just lock them up somewhere. Huh? Wait! Shinigami, what do I do? Jeez! You are always begging for help. I must admit, seeing me so pitiful is nice. I'm gonna stare at you for a while. Don't say that! Help me! It's not like there's anything I can do in this situation anyway. Um, please, wait! Hey, open up! Please, hear me out! Shut up and stay put! Here we are again, huh? I'm growing bored of this master! Seriously, why does this keep happening to me? It's like some evil spirit is haunting me. What? That's impossible! Although, you do have an adorable partner here. Hmm. Oh, there you go, sighing again. Keep it up and something bad will happen. I hope a meteor crashes down on me. Is it time to switch out? Oh, is that late already? The guy inside? It's me. He seems to have quieted down. Anyway, you can take it from here. Uh, uh. Hmm. W what are you doing? A am I gonna be tortured? Please, wait! I don't know anything, honest! Stand up. 
Your sentence has been decided. You will be put to death. D death? Wow! You got the death penalty just for tagging along? I don't want you to die, Master! Then do something! However, I will give you one chance. If you wish to escape your fate, say the name of the girl you love. Huh? Come on. That's enough fooling around. Uh, won't you let me have a bit more fun? Tatsuhiko? And Chief Yako? Took you long enough to notice, Yuma. If you're this dense, no wonder you got caught. So, you used your disguise! I wouldn't really call it a disguise. This is more like a change of clothes for me. So who is the girl you like anyway, Master? Never mind that now. Anyway, what are you doing here, Yuma? That's what I want to know. Why are you two here? First off, you need to calm down, Yuma. Tell me what you're doing here. Uh, well... I was investigating that secret lab, and... And that's what happened. I see. So that masked CEO had a hand in things. No wonder you were all fidgety when you came back to the agency. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I'm sure you had no choice. Oh, that's nothing to be proud of, mind you. It's not some stranger with a sweet whisper that has your back when it matters. It's your friends, right? Don't misjudge these matters. Think carefully about who really cares for... Hey, now's not the time to give a lecture. <laughs> Why are all old men like this? I'm not that old! Master sure is an expert at getting into trouble. You're also an expert at crying out for help. But I wonder why these two are here. So, why are you two here? Oh, this was delivered to us after you left the agency. It's the hitman's death threat. Why was this sent to the detective agency? Beats me. But this Dr. Weska guy is famous among Amaterasu's staff. Also, I remembered he shut himself up inside their headquarters. So we came here to the headquarters and saw the Peacekeeper's director head inside looking all irritated. Which was our cue that something must have happened. And that's where I came in. I hid myself among the other Peacekeepers and followed them inside. To what happened to be the secret lab itself. I heard some careless detective got captured, so we came to help. Thank you. You really saved me. Thanks to this letter, we were able to find the secret lab. But this Fink the Slaughter Artist guy, is he scattering death threats all over town? Doesn't that just make it harder to kill the target? The Peacekeepers have ramped up their security. You'll never understand what these wacky named psychos are thinking. Maybe he prefers having a challenge or something. I don't know what the Hitman is plotting, but there's only one thing we need to do. We must take Dr. Weska into custody as soon as possible and extract information about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. If they really are researching homunculi, then he would know. But from what Yuma said, this mission won't be that simple. The masked man is meeting the doctor for a reason, and the peacekeeper director is after him too. On top of that, some first-rate hitman's gunning for him. The fight over Dr. Weska is taking shape. Our competition's quite the lineup. But we can outsmart them all. The Nocturnal Detective Agency has been pressed in on all sides. So it's about time to show them what we're made of! Oh, Chief, you're usually so pessimistic. I like what I'm hearing. 
<laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's. Yes! I love this totally gung ho attitude. It's super stupid. Not that I mind one bit. Yuma, you want to put on a disguise? I'll match your preference and make you look like a lady peacekeeper. I don't have a preference. Oh, wait, I had to hide my bag on the way here. I need to get it first. Let's go. For the first time, I think Fuzzhead and the Shorty Detective are kind of cool. Carelessly. Hey, let's came back. Power has been disrupted. We are now switching to backup power. Review all systems and report any errors. A blackout at a high tech place like this? <laughs> Guess it's not as great as it's made to look. No, maybe it was. Could it have been the hitman? If the security system protecting the lab shut down during the blackout... This is bad. The doctor is in danger. Let's head to the critical lab right away. We need to protect the doctor. Yuma, take us there. Right. Wait, wait. That blackout should have caused a commotion. If we leave now, the peacekeepers will see us. is crawling with them. What do we do? I'll draw their attention to buy some time. In the meantime, you two hurry to that doctor. Huh? You, Chief? What? You're worried I can't do it? I might not have a forte, but I do have my detective experience backing me up. I'm Chief of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Leave this to me. Good luck. Wait three minutes after I leave the room. I'll get their attention by then. You guys use that opportunity to secure custody of the doctor. I'm counting on you both. See you later. There's the hitman! I saw him go this way! True. I'm sure it's also dangerous for the Chief to be a decoy. Well, I guess just being here is dangerous either way. <laughs> I think we can go now. There's no time for a disguise. Let's hurry to the doctor. Right. The hallway is 
is darker than before. I think it's due to the backup power. The doctor's lab is this way. There's no time for a detour. Let's hurry. I love the atmosphere in this gloomy lab. A monster's gonna jump out! Yeah! I hope Chiviaco is okay. Oh no, someone's still on guard here. Please, hear us out. We thought the doctor would be in danger, so we... I no longer have to fear getting lost. I am in your care. Huh? Oh, Yuma. Has your amnesia deteriorated to the point that you have forgotten me? Wait. Fubuki? Princess, things have gotten complicated. <laughs> uh, so you can take it off now. Oh, I forgot. Now, Yuma, does my face look familiar? Oh, Fubuki, you're here too. Yes, I am a detective and adventurer. The chance to explore dangerous places gets me excited. But because everyone is disguised, I cannot tell who is who. So that's how you got lost. As usual, she is such a troublemaker. Hey, we don't have any time to waste. Let's hurry to the doctor. Let's try calling him on the intercom. I hope he's all right. Doctor! What? You again? Stop calling me. Thank goodness. Dr. Huesca, you're still all right. What are you talking about? The hitman hasn't arrived yet. When will he show up? Don't tell me this so-called first-rate hitman was captured by peacekeepers. No, the hitman hasn't been caught yet. Anyway, there was a blackout earlier. Is your security system all right? <laughs> This critical lab operates on a separate power system that obviously includes its security measures. I can even review the log on the computer itself. Yes, security didn't drop for even a second. It's a baseless worry. Sheesh, seems like he stayed safe, but man, this old guy sure is annoying. Old guy? Annoying? I can see you, you pathetic tiny weakling! What? You calling me a weakling? How dare you! Did you calm down, Desuhiko? By the way, who is that woman behind you? Oh, um, she's another detective like us. She's here to protect you. A detective woman? Protecting me? That is right. I shall do my best to protect you. This might be our chance, Princess. That dirty old man has a new look in his eye. Let's draw the geezer out of his hiding place with a honey trap. Ooh, tell him, I will serve you with all my heart, yeah? Sure, leave it to me. Desuhiko says he will serve you with all his heart, yeah? Hey! That's not what I meant! Hmm. I am running low on supplies, so I suppose it's time. If you detectives will protect me. Whoa! She's super effective! Dr. Huesca, I'll come get you. Can you shut off the security on your end? Huh? Wait! Dr. Huesca? What's wrong? Wait! Who are you? Help! Somebody come help me! D doctor Doctor! Hey, what just happened? Did he say who are you? Was he attacked by the hitman? 
But the security system is still active. No one could possibly reach him. Come on, the doctor was definitely just attacked by someone. We have to go help him. Wait, Fubuki, stop! There are toxic gas and high voltage traps inside. Toxic gas? High voltage? There are some dangerous security devices up ahead. But at this rate, Dr. Dirty Geezer will... That's not his name. But what are we supposed to do? We can't help him. What do we do? Should we take a gamble and rush in? Hey, before you get yourself killed, how about you use your brain first, like a detective should? But I don't know what to do. That's why you gotta think. There must be some way. You're telling me to think, but I have no idea. To bypass security and protect the doctor, I should... that use what this lab has been developing a toy robot toxic gas wouldn't affect it and it's supposed to be durable so I'm sure it could withstand high voltages I saw one in the other room you're totally right it's worth a shot yeah let's go get that robot oh hold on if we all leave this place isn't there a chance the intruder could escape could even get away with the doctor. Then shall I remain here and keep watch? Are you sure, Fubuki? Yes. If someone shows up, we can just turn back time. Oh, <laughs> I guess there's that. Well, we should leave her here then. She's... You can count on me. <laughs> All right. Let's go get that robot. Good. Keepers, when will you leave me alone? All that commotion going on in the blackout too. I can't concentrate on my research. That's not it. We're not peacekeepers. We're detectives. There's something we'd like help with. And that's what happened. Really? Dr. Weska? Let me think about it. I really need him to decide quickly. We're supposed to wait a little, so how about we kill some time checking that place out? Oh! 
get it? with Dr. Weska? No way. He's not close with anyone. But there isn't a single person at Amaterasu Corporation who doesn't know about him. He's famous in a variety of ways. To be quite blunt, we don't get along. His research is sanctimonious and unethical. He'd sacrifice others for the sake of his research without hesitation. Where most people falter, he's remorseless. I heard he shut himself in the critical lab, and honestly, I wouldn't care if he remained there the rest of his life. That old guy is really hated around these parts. Although, I totally get it. with Alma, pal, without permission. Uh, sorry. So it's called Alma, pal. <laughs> Is the robot really as amazing as you describe it? An amateur like yourself cannot fathom it. Alma, pal, is a fusion of all the state-of-the-art technology in our lab. Some researchers are even considering implementing it as part of militarized weapon technology. But investing state-of-the-art technology into a toy is the epitome of peaceful civilization, don't you think? That may be true, but there are other things to worry about right now. <sighs> Looks like I don't have a choice. I'm obligated to help, even if it's Dr. Weska. All right, I'll lend you Ama, pal. That is the purpose of science, after all. This is such a big help. Thank you. Listen carefully. You can control Amapal through this tablet. A display will appear, with the camera's feet from behind Amapal's eyes. Observe through here, while moving Amapal with the controller. Bumping into walls won't hurt it, so there's no need to be overly careful. All right, I'll give it a try. Also, regarding Amapal's arms, for child safety purposes, the ends of his arms are ball-shaped. It is unable to grab anything, but has enough strength to flip a switch. But it won't respond to any other commands while retracting or extending the arms, so keep that in mind. For example, until the arms fully retract, it cannot move or turn its head. This prevents the arm wires from tangling up keeping children from getting too adventurous while playing. That's everything. Any questions? No, I think I got it. I'm a pal is built to be tough. Obviously, the elephant thing is an exaggeration for advertisements, but its load capacity is 100 kilograms. That being said, I don't know if it can survive high voltages. Oh, um... Still, human life takes priority. Please return it to me once you're done. Our other Amapal units are broken right now, so it's the only one that's functioning. Understood. We will be sure to return Amapal to you. Welcome back! Oh, what a nice robot! Did you decide on a name yet? Sure. Anyway, did anything strange happen, Fubuki? No. I kept watch the whole time, but no one entered or left the room. Oh, 
which means the doctor and the intruder are both still inside. Let's check the intercom again. Let's check the intercom again to see if the doctor's doing okay. It's no use. Still no answer. It, he's not just ignoring us, right? It's reasonable to suspect something happened. We still might make it in time. Let's use the robot to investigate the situation in the lab. So that's the toxic gas chamber over there. <laughs> they sure made this extremely dangerous. Y Yuma, don't go too far in. If you open that door by accident, the whole place will be filled with toxic gas. But we'll leave Amapal here and let's head back. Right, we'll leave the rest to Amapal. Okay, switching it on now. up. So this is what Amapal sees. It's like the cockpit of a mecha. Whoa, what was that? Did it break already? I thought it was state of the art. No, it's all right. It's stabilized. Phew. Scared me for a second. Okay, let's get to the doctor. Shinigami's tutorial quarter. This part seems important. Maybe. I'm a pal on the moon. Go, go, go. What's the point of extending its arm here? Aren't we in a hurry? Through the screen, it feels awful to be traveling through toxic gas. I am beginning to be sick. Yuma, let's hurry up and get out of here. Yeah. Toxic gas will leak out. Everything's spinning. Decontamination complete. Looks like it's done. The next issue was is the floor panels with high voltage currents. If you step on them in the right order, the door unlocks, right? But only the doctor knows the combination. And if you fail, it will shock you at a high voltage. There must be a hint somewhere. 
This kind of thing usually has some suspicious notes around to help you solve it. Hmm. Crap. What do we do? There are only nine panels, so why not just try your luck at it? But if Amapel is electrocuted, we'll be completely helpless. I can't just go in blindly. Then you better think of something. You know, like a detective would. Still, is there a way to step on the panels in the right order without making a mistake? No, wait! That's it! We might be able to do it using that! 